Temperatures are dropping, daylight slipping away as well, and most high schoolers in the area are already getting on their buses in the dark. But News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski says the Fayetteville Manlia School District is continuing their study of making high school start times later. The way the schedule is now, high schoolers at FM are starting school before 8 a.m., middle schoolers only a few minutes later. But growing research shows that's too early. The American Medical Association issued a policy statement in 2016 that middle and high school start times begin no earlier than 8.30 a.m. FM has been looking at the issue for two years now. We want it to be a local decision. Even though the research may point in one direction, we know it has to fit for the community. So we've tried to be methodical, we've tried to be deliberate. A survey on the issue is now live for people in the district to weigh in on the issue of school start times, which at this point could be any number of combinations. Tice says any change to start times impacts so many other things in the district. Busing, one of the biggest. So we do separate trips for high school, then middle school, then elementary schools. So does this mean adding to our fleet of buses and we would have to do that over time? Uh, do, and even if we get the buses, can we find the drivers uh, to pilot them, so to speak? One of the big things they're looking at is what would a later start time for the high school mean to extracurricular activities like sports. In speaking with the superintendent of Webster Central Schools near Rochester, he indicated the one thing that uh, was of concern to them were, was the cross-country program, oh. which was used to running in the autumn mm -hmm. at twilight, now would find themselves running in the dark. So they were going to have to rethink yeah. how they were going to practice yeah. their cross-country. But, but they did it. But they did it. Tice says if they did it in FM, Nothing would happen until at least the 2021-22 school year. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. The Liverpool School District studied the issue for about three years, but in 2018, the board decided to stop looking at changing start times and left them as is. Head to the new